Hello everyone and welcome back to another Die Cash Review. Today we're looking at Doe and Hart Jr.'s 2007 Budweiser COT Elite. Now right here, of course you got the sleeve, COT got the gold 8, Doe and Hart Jr. and Budweiser right there, or Bud King of Beers of course. So sliding the sleeve off, we got of course the Elite box which opens in a clamshell form. So we got the die cast right here, we got some stuff behind it, we'll take a look at that in just a minute. But this is a die cast I've been wanting for uh, quite a while, actually. I was wanting to get the uh, 124 uh, eventually. I was wanting the 164 more than the 124. Uh, but, eh, didn't come to that. And then I just ended up getting the 164 before I got, or the 124 before I got the 164. So, we're going to take a look at this. The box is a little damaged. Not a huge deal. But, I mean, hey, it happens. It looks like there's some stuff underneath here, too. Uh... Maybe, eh, I don't know, we'll have to see. But this is an Elite, so it does come with a few things. We'll kind of see what we got here. We got a little bit of, uh, that's just from the box. Uh, let's see, we got this thing here, which is Certificate of Authenticity. So we got that. Uh, we got a, congrats on your purchase, nothing crazy. And then we got a little Motorsports design, what is this? Oh, I guess it just kind of tells you what's in it. So, let's see. Uh, I don't know where the antenna is. I didn't see one. So we might not have one with it. I want to say there is, though, but I just I don't know where. I'll have to kind of look in a little bit. But, either way, we do have the... Uh, one, or not the 164, the 124 right here in front of us. Now, again, I've been wanting the 164 for a while. But that's like a $50 164. So, not really, not really feeling it. But anyway, got the Budweiser car right here. Of course, you got that classic red and black, the Budweiser with the DEI stripes down the side. Very, very nice. Now, the only damage I've seen so far is just the front right here. It's missing one spoke, which isn't a huge deal. Uh, but, I mean, hey, you know, it is what it is. It happens. So, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this right here. Let's get some more uh, lighting if we can. If I don't spill everything, that'd be nice. Come on, there we go. So right here on the hood, you got Bud, King of Beers right there. Of course, you got the Chevy bow tie and the headlights here. Got a little bit of detail, or not a little bit, a lot of detail uh, right there on the dashboard. Of course, you can see uh, some stuff in there. You can see the wheel. You can see it turn, actually. You can see the uh, little orange cord there. Uh, you can see some more stuff in there as well. Got some fire extinguishers, look like, and uh, just some other details. Right there is where the antenna goes, right there in that little hole. The roof flaps do deploy. It's a little more difficult because it is an Elite, and it's got these little... Uh, braces right here or the tethers but they do both open and on the back here what din is this din is 847 budweiser right there of course you got the the winglets and stuff got the dei or just the down heart right there of course you got the uh tether braces fuel cell in there it's kind of hard to see but it is there got budweiser on the back with the number eight in both tail lights dei and uh del Earnhardt. Uh, they both don't are incorporated. I think it is just two different types of logos. I got the Chevy bow tie down here. On this side, got the Budweiser Menards. Let's see, Safety Clean, uh, Miller Welders Freightliner, and I don't know what that one is there. Got Bass Pro Shops, uh, Doanhart Inc. dot com, Incorporated of course. Doanhart Junior right there. You got Wrangler Champion, I believe. Uh, Cincinnati something. Sherman Williams, I believe, right there on the bottom. Snap on. Of course, you got the number eight. 3M, Next Cup Series, that's a race car, all that good stuff there. Direct TV, EA Sports, Holly, uh, Clevite, Mobile One, just, you know, some more stuff there. Got the DEI stripe, of course. Got the Goodyear above the wheel well, which some Goodyear tires are underneath that, of course. Goodyear, Gatorback, Edelbrock, Moog, Comp, Wix, Sunoco, and Paula SS. Of course, is missing that little front piece, which is not a big deal. I can probably find a replacement. I don't know how to replace one, but I'm sure I can find one somewhere. So let's go ahead and pop the hood open. Maybe, please, pretty please. There we go, loose a little bit. Here we go. Again, it's kind of hard to see. Well, no, not really. It's just, well, let's see if we can kind of get a good uh, angle into what we're seeing here. Get a little bit closer. Possibly, maybe. You can kind of, there you go. You can kind of see the detail uh, in there. Of course, you got the the cover there of course you got uh let's see you got some more hoses and wires you got the belts in there as well 
uh, kind of plug wires and stuff. So pretty awesome detail. I do wish we had that, but you know, we can't. So it is what it is. Oh no, that won't shut. Why won't that shut? Uh, there we go. Never mind. Of course, you got the posable wheels and stuff, and also it does uh, turn the wheel as we've seen earlier. And not only that, if I zoom out a little bit, uh, you can take down the window net so you can kind of get a better look inside. You know, you can kind of see all that stuff going on in there. So pretty cool detail. Uh, and again, not a whole lot we get today, but I mean, back in the day, we would get a pretty good amount. And it is sad that we kind of downgraded pretty good, but I mean, hey, uh, you know, why knows kind of doing uh, different stuff. I kind of said this with my four pack review, but either way. Uh, the detail was just insane. Uh, I got another 2006, I believe. Uh, Doe Jr., same paint scheme and stuff. Got a whole lot of detail on that as well. And it's just, I miss it. I really do. I wish Lionel would do more. Uh, that's actually really loose. Is there no... Why is that... Is something wrong with the brace or the... Okay, no, never mind. It's just kind of... Kind of oddly put in there, I guess. But it's very loose, so... Oh, well. Uh, again, either way, very awesome die cast. Again, I'm trying to get the uh, 164, but that might be a little bit because uh, it's kind of rare. J just a little bit. Now, the reason that these type of die casts are rare is because pretty much of just the body build. In 2007, uh, they switched. They went from COY to COT for a little bit. And then that little uh, bit of like era where they had the pre COT before it hit in 2008 and 2009, um, I guess that kind of got some die casts a little bit rare just because of the year and the race build or the car build. I'm pretty sure that's why, nonetheless. But again, either way, fantastic race car. Looks very nice. If you have not picked one up, uh, it's been, you know, a while since 2007. So uh, I suggest you go get one. I'm going to try to get the Elvis from 2007 as well i've already got one but it is my father's it's not mine but either way uh it is kind of damaged so i'm going to try to get a replacement and to uh, kind of do a review on that as well give it to him to replace it and yeah that'll be pretty much it also with that being said that'll be all for this die cash review so thank you all so much for watching i uh, hope you all enjoyed this video uh if you did let me know down in the comments below and uh, I'll try to do some more of these because, again, I've been getting really busy recently. I'm trying to have this studio as much as I can because this has the best lighting, the best background drop, all that stuff. So I'm trying to do a little bit better, have uh, some more uh, videos out here recently. But, you know, I'm trying. That's all I can do. But once again, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you in the next video.